హలో ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ సతీష్ బాబు సీనియర్ కన్సల్టెంట్ ఈఎన్టీ హెడ్ అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ సర్జన్ వర్కింగ్ విత్ అపోలో హాస్పిటల్స్ బెంగళూరు రెడ్ లమ్స్ సోర్నెస్ ఇన్ ద థ్రోట్ ఫీవర్ అండ్ పెయిన్ వైల్ స్వాలోయింగ్ ఆల్ దీస్ క్యాన్ హ్యాపన్ విత్ ఐదర్ బ్యాక్టీరియల్ ఆర్ వైరల్ ఫెరంజైటిస్ రైట్ to differentiate we actually look at the other factors the presence of uh, systemic symptoms like uh, excessive tiredness um, weakness and drowsiness uh, presence of joint pains and uh, undue fever like a person having a very mild congestion in the throat redness in the throat having 103 104 fever uh, and uh, very quick worsening of symptoms will indicate that there is uh, a viral infection there is a bacterial infection is uh, rather slow to develop the uh, the discomfort starts slowly and then the redness becomes a lot more obvious towards the third or fourth day the pain becomes a lot more obvious in third or fourth day the fever starts coming up then and uh, the phlegm obviously the mucus obviously becomes colored yellowish or greenish then uh, you can probably say that it is a uh, most likely a bacterial infection in either of which bacterial or viral the initial treatment is simple you just need a supportive medication till at least there is a clear demarcation whether it is a viral or bacterial uh, so about 3 days the initial 3 days definitely it is going to be only uh, paracetamol and um, uh, some cough syrups gargles and steaming right and uh, as the demarcation becomes more evident then uh, in a bacterial uh, infection we would probably choose to give an antibiotic whereas in the viral we just continue the supportive medications you know in a uh, proper way so till the fever subsides the viral most of the times is self limiting so you don't need any further medications whereas bacterial uh, to remove the bacterial infection from the throat we have to start uh, many times we start antibiotics and uh, the person gets better in the next few days